Hello there, today we're doing a comparison between the Minilog XD and the original Minilog. Now a bit of backstory, the Minilog is one of the first analog synths I bought when I started my channel. I've been using it for a long time, I've made sound packs for it, they are available in the description. And I've also made sound packs for the Minilog XD, I've been using it for about a year, and I've been using both of them in my music as well. And, and I do have a slight bias towards the original Minilog, just so you know. I, I think there's certain things that are just a bit magical with it. But that being said, let's compare the two. Let's start with the sound. Do they sound similar? Well, here's the raw oscillators. A slight difference in the higher frequencies, and this is because it's set to four poles. If I switch it to two pole, it sounds almost identical because the XD has a two pole filter and the Minilog, original Minilog has a switchable filter from two pole to four pole. So basically the four pole filter removes a little bit more of the higher frequencies. You should be able to hear how the two pole filter makes the XD a little bit brighter and it's switchable on the original. Here's the triangle. Very similar oscillator sound, but you heard the little clickiness. With the attack set all the way down and only decay up and sustain and release to zero. Same settings for the XD. You hear that there's much less click on the XD. It's more pronounced on the original Minilog. Let's do square wave and I've really tried to match the audio levels here. Again, very similar, but what you have to remember is that in its totality, they do sound very different. So let me play you two sounds that I think is indicative of where you'll end up, kind of the differences in terms of sound. Now, I know they're totally different sounds and, and they sound very different and that's the point. All in all, when you combine it with the effects, with the differences in how the filter sounds, they do end up sounding quite different. I'd say the original Minilog is a little harsher, more metallic, it has more noise. It, it also sounds a little bit more retro in its vibe, whereas the XD sounds more current, uh, more full sounding, better effects. But also in the defense of the original Minilog, I'd say it sounds more original, more unique, and I think pads show this very well. But where's the actual difference in sound coming from? Well, I will go into more detail later, but just a brief little summary here. There are four big differences. The filter sounds different. We have different effects sections over here. So we have three effects and we have one effect. The fact that it's stereo output on the XD as opposed to a mono output on the Minilog. And the fourth reason being that we have a two VCO design versus a two VCO plus one digital oscillator here, which is quite a big difference because you can, for example, set the third oscillator, one, one of the oscillators as a sub oscillator, for example. You can also get a lot of different tones out of it using the digital oscillator. So let's make a sound from scratch and I'll show you some of the differences. When I've increased the resonance here, you can definitely hear a big difference. 
the original Minilook has a lot more bass, giving it a little bit more of a yeah, brittle sound, I guess. Let's bring in the second oscillator. And on the original we have a noise generator. And on the XD we can add a noise generator if we want to. And we actually have selectable noise types. And we can of course select either one of the, the pre-installed digital oscillators or the user imported oscillators because this is a big difference. You can import your own oscillators. I actually have a good video where I demo some third party effects because you can also load third party effects. So it's on my channel, I link it down below. So let's introduce a third oscillator. And we can go in and lower the octave. So you're seeing that there's a clear difference in what we can accomplish in terms of sound here. Now the filter on the XD also have a drive function. which both distorts, amplifies, and compresses the sound quite a bit. Both also have key tracking, but the original have a switch for velocity tracking. So you can use the velocity, um, the strength at which you're playing, and uh, have it impact the filter. There was also some differences to the voice mode. While you can make a monophonic sound on the XD, the original also have a mono mode, which adds a sub oscillator. It has a delay mode. Which uses voices to produce the delay. And the original has a sidechain mode, which I haven't personally used much. I haven't really found a good use case for it, but maybe somebody in the comment section can let us know what it, it could be used for. Another very obvious difference is the EG, the envelope generator. We have attack and decay. Here we have a full ADSR, which is really nice. There's also a big difference in how you can assign it. So on the XD here, you can assign it to pitch. or just pitch of one of the oscillators. Or the cutoff. On the original, we actually have more flexibility. So what you can do is you can set something, let's say like this, and then we can, firstly, we can assign it to the pitch, e.g. but we can at the same time use it to control the filter. But it doesn't stop there. You can actually use the EG here on the Minilog in a certain way, which I really love. Let me see if I can show you here. So let's assign the LFO here to pitch. And now we can use the EG to modify the intensity. 
So if we put a long attack, you can hear how the LFO kicks in after a while. That adds like a delay and a longer attack to the intensity here. I think it sounds beautiful. But now we can also introduce the pitch EG here. And some filter EG. And this interaction with the envelope generator between the filter, between the pitch, between the LFO is one that I miss on the XD. And I actually talked to a lead designer over at Korg about this and about the possibility to maybe route the EG to say the intensity of the LFO. That, that would be really cool because I think it you know, it just makes it possible to make these sort of vibrant sounds that come to life with a bit of pitch change over time. Very nice. Some of my favorite sounds. The original Minilog has an audio input, so you can route audio through it. You can also actually take the headphones audio into the input and do some cool stuff with feedback. And on the XD, you don't have an audio input, but you have two input for CV, so you can actually control stuff using, say, Eurorack. But when it comes to effects, there's not much of a comparison to make here on the original. We can set a post-filter and pre-filter delay. However, we have selectable reverbs Mod effects And delays I'm just drenching the sound here for emphasis, but of course the effect section is much larger, also because you have the ability to load custom effects. So for example, something like this. A custom bit crusher effect from Sign Vibes. Check out my little demo of all his plugins if you want to in the, in the description. I should also mention that we have a joystick. So basically you have four axes that you can work from and these can be assigned to various things, not that many. So for example, pitch and cutoff and a few other things. And on the mini log we have this stick. I think that the build quality of the stick is better than this little joystick. Uh, the head of the joystick actually came off rather easily. It's also assignable, but you don't have the four way control. I also want to mention that the tuning seems a lot quicker on the XD than the original. I have read people saying that the tuning is a little unstable on the original Minilog, sometimes goes out of tune after a while. Now I haven't had that problem myself, but it does take longer to really warm up. Sometimes, you know, 10 minutes or so to just get it really nice, like get it really in tune, whereas the XD is a lot quicker. And lastly, but also very importantly, we have the sequencer. They work very similarly, but they're very different in practice. So here we have 16 steps, you can see all of them. Here we have eight steps, but it's a 16 step sequencer. This alone makes it a little bit more fiddly because there's not that good uh, visual representation of the additional eight steps. So here we can record something. So with this sequence recorded, it's very easy just to remove steps from the sequence by pressing it. We can also go into motion mode and we can hold down a step like this and we can change the cutoff and we see an instant graphical representation here of what's going on.
And on both sequencers, we have four lanes of automation, but I just feel that they're a little bit more accessible on the XD than they are on the original because of how easy it is to do like very yeah small changes quickly using these buttons here. <laughs> This was my little comparison between the Minilog XD and the original Minilog. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And as always, I want to thank the Patreon supporters. I don't say this enough, but without you guys, it would be very hard to do this. I'm actually doing it full time now. I'm trying to put in a lot more effort and time into these videos than I've ever done before. So all the help is appreciated. So if you want to support, you can go to patreon.com slash bowbeats. I also have some Minilog and Minilog XD presets all over on Patreon, if that's something you'd like. So talk to you later and see you in another video.